to show you how to get a flawless complexion with the new Burberry Cashmere Foundation. It's a perfect product for a soft matte finish. I'm also going to show you some simple tips to achieve a perfect makeup result. We're going to start by using the face contour. It comes in two colours. It's a sculpting product, so you can kind of reshape the face slightly. You know this because I've used this on you at the show quite a lot. I'm going to close that down slightly. I could do down the nose, Charlotte doesn't need it. Now you can blend that in with your fingers. You can shade differently depending on the face. You can use that on the eyes. A little tad here just to make that. I just want to give you that perfect foundation finish. I'm going to use the sheer concealer, the light reflecting, but I think what's more interesting than that is the texture. I'm going to use this as a highlighter, just on the cheekbones. Every part of the face that's prominent that I want to stand out, I'm going to put my highlight on. I'm going to use another concealer. This is an orangey tone. This is good for knocking out any blue. So I can put that around there. Under the eye is very fine skin, so we don't want it to be crepey or anything like that. I can mix the two together and then go under the eye so it's more of a concealer just under the eyes. We're going to move on to the cashmere foundation. This is a really nice coverage. It's great when you've got slightly oilier skin and you want to control that oil. You can put it on with a brush, but what I actually like to do with this foundation is because it's got more of a pigment in it and if you want to cover anything, you can use a sponge. And this is good for eradicating any blemishes. But you still feel that there's skin. It's a flawless, soft, matte, long-lasting result. These are the cashmere concealers. They came in six shades. It's got like a unique soft tip application. It's like a little fingertip. So I'm just going to pop that round the nose and then you just blend it in like this. Do you want to have a go, Charlotte? Yeah, sure. See how it feels. If you feel like that's a shinier area, I'll keep it slightly matte so it's good for covering any blemishes and things you don't want to move. And now nude powder, and this is really, really fine. If I'm going to add any powder on top of it, I don't want it to stick. Even though we've got that matte finish, it will still stick if I put anything else powdery on. So this just sets everything and it allows you to do that. And I always like the earthy blush. This is a slightly more sophisticated feeling for contour. I mean, I use this a lot and it's great for under the jawline. Obviously we use the contour stick to reshape the face, but there's another little thing you can do with this. And this is great to create a shadow around the mouth. This makes the lips really full. It's like a really soft lip line. This is something you could just have in your 